welcome to Honey, I Joined a Cult. I've covered this game previously on my TikTok and people were very interested in it. I'm very interested in it. I cannot wait to make a new cult. I already have a cult, the bear cult, on the live stream and in my community, but let's make a new one. Hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy these early looks and playthroughs at new indie games. We're playing stuff that people haven't seen, so I want to get some recommendations. Join us. Are things really going that badly? What will we worship, you know? Well, yes. This is the intro. I guess they come for you and shut you down. A special observation bureau raid. People here are brainwashed. Take this punk, for instance. He's covered in blue house paint. That's not house paint. He's begun his transcension to a space fish. Fesh. Sort him out. Yes, boss. Fesh? <laughs> ah, fesh. Boss, I'm not sure this is paint. Of course not. I told you, he's part space fish. Amazing. A miracle. Holy moly. Nonsense. It's probably just that really stubborn paint. Get him out of here. This place is so done. We're shutting it down. But I did nothing wrong. We cannot prove you actually lifted a finger around here. Everyone else is to be taken away. For processing. What's most important is that I'm free. I want you out of this dust bowl tonight, Pug. I'll be moving on to the next look. I mean, yeah, of course. Are we going to be this person starting a new cult? If you guys had a cult, what would you worship? We'll be picking something to worship in here, but comment below. You're fished. Charlie Fishner. Off he goes with his bag of money. Made a load of money from this cult. Protesters. The detective. What's he saying? Which there is. Something about... Oh, sneaking out. Uh... You ain't seen me, right? What? That's an old far show reference, you ain't seen me, right? An old sketch show. Time to change my ways. <laughs> Time to change my ways. Time to... Oh, who am I kidding? Time to rebuild and establish contact with a new divine being. I'll need some serious cosmetic surgery to change my appearance. Good thing I know a guy. So I guess we're going to make our own character, but we'll be him underneath. I'm so excited to play this and see how it is. It's got vibes of sort of like prison architect and stuff going on. Love these sort of builder sim games. Three months later... Music's a bop. There we go. Cult customization. Let's get into it. Can, I can even change what the title is. Wow. That's super cool. Bear God. I will be the Bear God or like the High Priest Bear or something. Let's see what we can... Um... Oh, the Divine Being... So I can make my own divine being. Let's see what kind of symbols we have in here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Anubis. Mm, could be like an Egyptian cult. Oh, that's a cool one. Like a death cult. An elf cult. Eh, we rush up to elves. A goblin cult. A stag. Oh, I like this tune. This is what they had on the demo. T-Rex cult. 
<laughs> what a great symbol that is. Oh, there's no bear face. Okay. Hey, we worship music, man. Loader bikes, Anubis. What could I use? Hmm. It's those colors. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be the goblin. You know what? We're gonna do goblins. We're gonna do goblin king. Now let's see what I can do. Oh my god, because that guy was turning blue. What if I can make everyone want to get green skin? That would be amazing. Wait, there's pre-made cults as well. Hang on, let me let's go through pre-mades before and see what they have. The Don, the Donzies. Cultist noun Donzi. Holy room. House of cool. Words of Dons. So this is like the Fonz, right? The divine pharaoh of the first dynasty, or dynasty, and they worship Anubis. We have the worm president, the cult of the worm, and the worm god, and the sanctum of the worm. Vice moon pie, the cult of the moon, the moon man, the house of the moon. Captain Crimbo, the Santa Claus divine being, Christmas Dawn, the Holy Room, the Grotty Grotto, and the cultists are called elves. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The Dino Cult, the children of Saurus, head dinosaur, Dino Man cultist. The human corn cob, the flump family, the flumpers. The atomic, temple of the atom, cultists are called atoms. The High Priest of the Maddening Dark. The Watchers, the Temple of Madness. So cool. Lark of the Covenant, High Priest. That's really cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I want them to wear this, but we're gonna do, let's do goblins. We'll call them... Goblin King will be the top one. And it will be run by one Gobbo de Goblin. Eh, de Goblin. We'll call them Goblin. Go goblin noun. Goblin. The Goblins. Plural. Gobbies. There we go. Cult name. Um, cult, cult, cult. Goblin gang. And the divine being is actually no the divine being is gobbo de goblin and i'll just be me and we'll be giving it up and i'll be morph morphy de goblin there we go now let's see what kind of customization the characters can have facial hair does it seem like no facial hair is an option or it's like you have to have some doesn't it oh no there you go Let's change my hair as well. Let's see what clothes we have. Hat. There we go. Dinosaur. Little cap there. Top hat. Pharaoh's kind of vibe. Some sunglasses. Ooh, pumpkin gang. Witch hat. Perfect for Halloween. Kind of like that one. More like a goblin hat be. Nothing jumps out at me as being goblin-y. The Goblin King. Is there a crown? Maybe something like that, actually. And then let's see. Change the color to green. Let's see what fits. Oh my god, is he naked and just wearing a leaf? A nudist cult. Why did it change back to red? There you go. Ah, uh, when you go naked, it changes back to default. Um, let's go with that one. A couple of different head shapes. So I can have a different skin there, but I can't be green. I'm curious if painting myself is going to be a thing. Change my face a little bit. 
Get some lipstick on, happy smiling face, older face, wrinkles. There you go, a little smirk. We'll have them wear this as little little goblins. Remake the elves. Now this is the the relic that'll be in your room of worship that you can choose from. Which of these would you have? I guess for a goblin we'll have... Is that like a little goblin? What is he holding? Like a rock? A diamond or something? What would you have? For a goblin... I feel like having this little guy. And the holy room will be the... Uh, oh, what's a room with goblins? A gob... will be the cave. There you go. Go in the cave and worship the the statue of the goblin <laughs> all right let's see how we go tutorial on hello world hello I'm Morphe the goblin but you can call me goblin King welcome to goblin gang. Gobbo de Goblin told me you were coming. Gobbo de Goblin tells me loads of stuff. Just me though, nobody else can hear it. Gobbo de Goblin also told me you were going to help get the gobbies up and running. <laughs> it's pretty much your destiny. More of an ideas person though, so you're gonna have to do the groundwork. You can't run a cult if you can't see the cult. Move with WASD. Move with mouse middle click. I think I saw a bee in the grass, zoom in. Nope, oh, just bee-shaped grass. Zoom out in case there's any real bees around. Gobbies are the engine of our organization. They perform all the daily duties and keep everything running smooth-ish. Save for the missions that they're sent on, gobbies spend their entire lives in this beautiful compound. They're truly blessed. Sometimes they're arrested. That can take them off compound for a while, but that hasn't happened in weeks. Most importantly, gobbies extract money, from our visiting followers. We need this money to realize the mysterious grand plan of Gobbo de Goblin. <laughs> it's so hilarious to be reading that in the game. I purchased this compound with some money that I had from a previous venture involving Gobbo de Goblin. I can't go into the details. We're going to develop it in a state-of-the-art facility that will provide the needs of the gobbies and make money from our followers. You take, you talk a lot. Time to do some work. Let's get started goblin needs. Whilst you can treat gobbies badly, we need to provide for basic needs. Neglected gobbies will have a mood break or leave. That can be funny to watch. It's not great for business. See how our gobbies are doing. Pick the most attractive one. Uh, here on the end. Amy Leaf. View their stats. So what do we get? We get mood, health, bed, unassigned, assignment, status food that they eat. Can I tell them they're not allowed anymore? Oh, you're not allowed to use the vending machine anymore. That's interesting. You will only eat gruel. Um, Alright, really? Not who I would have chosen. The mood bar shows the overall mood of each goblin. Everything affecting the mood of a goblin is listed in the mood section. Looks like they're happy on the inside. Build some rooms to keep them that way. So we have hunger, ladder, fun, Energy. It's like a sim. Prestige. Hygiene. New goblin. Traits. All star. Bonus to all skills. Hates the chessboard. Will not use recreational room object. Hmm. Everything needs solid foundations, even buildings. Let's construct some now. With foundation selected, drag an area. Build. Foundation. And let's have it wood. We'll have a little wooden place. Build a door. What door should we have? Let's have... They're all the same price, so it's just cosmetic up to you. Green door, of course. Where do I put it? Oh. Door. Const build door. Foundations. Select. Is that not what I was supposed to do? Change it to brick. How can I put the door in? 
on walls. But I only have a foundation down. I don't have a wall, do I? Do I have to put a wall up first? And that makes sense. Where? Do I not have enough money or something? Oh, I have enough money. Oh, it wants me to put it th Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I knew that. Let's now partition the area so we have enough space for multiple rooms. Okay, the walls will be made of this grey kind of brick. Like a goblin's stronghold. In a wooden castle. Well done. Gobbo to Goblin says to tell you that they're very pleased. Let's designate some rooms now. A tired goblin won't perform their duties well. Their chit chat's super dry. They need to sleep in a bed to replenish their energy. Let's assign a bedroom here so they have somewhere to sleep. Once completed, exit the room assignment mode by right clicking. Assign a bedroom here. Okay. Rooms. Bedroom. So it's kind of like Room World and other games like that where you assign the space. Good work. The room menu automatically opens up when you assign a new room and shows you what objects a room requires. Ah, this classic format. Okay. So we need a bed and some storage. Let's build a bed and some storage. Dirty mattresses. It wants five all in this one room. Oh my gosh. They're all going to be sleeping in here. Can I rotate? I can. Nice. How are they going to get in here? I'll sort it out after. They're not ghosts. Build a door now. Okay. Back to build. A lovely green door to get in there. Better for everyone if gobbies have access to a toilet and a shower. Assign a bathroom here. I see now why I didn't want me to turn these all into rooms. We'll have the bathroom door be a little cell door like that, see? So, this needs a toilet, a shower, and a sink. Mm -mm -mm. Object and room menus have search functions to help you find things. Input text or filter from the drop-down menu. View bathroom-specific objects. There you go. Shower bucket and a s bucket and a string. I'm guessing you can unlock other stuff, you know. Two toilets, two showers, two sinks. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, our toilet is just a bucket to begin with. That's so grim, dude. And the sink is a trough. Wow, awful. There you go. Best bathroom ever. Starving gobbies tend to die. I know this for a fact. Build a canteen here. Build a door. Assign a space for your canteen. A vending machine. A cooler. Okay. Oh, put that over there. A door. And it'll be a green door for goblins. Sign as a canteen with rooms. From specific objects. Beautiful. That's nice and simple. Really nice UI. Super easy. Water cooler by the door. Vending machine by the door. Canteen table. Here. And then serving. Does that mean they're not going to be able to get to it? It's there. These rooms need to be bigger, dude. Some scientists believe vending machine food is not particularly nutritious. It can also be expensive. A kitchen will provide better quality, cheaper food like gruel. Build one in the future. Place decor items. Okay. We shall have... Some... Lamps. Two lamps when you come in. Can I change color of them? That would be cool if I could set those to be green. They're orange right now. And we'll have a little lava lamp in the bedroom. Why 
Why is nobody praying? Gobbo de Goblin will go crazy. I want to hold a sermon. Build me a holy room right now, please. Brick foundation. The holy room will have a green door. Sign a space for the holy room. So we go to rooms. The cave. I like how it changes it in there too. I feel like the bear cult would have one called the cave too. Build one lectern, one two pews. So we pick which lectern we want. I feel like there should be even more options, but maybe you unlock some more. So you'll stand up there, and then we have wooden pews facing up. And an idol of bronze in the corner. Worship him. Optional decor. green plant in the corner. How about that? Faith is drained by each goblin. If it gets too low, everyone's mood will suffer. Let's hold our first sermon before everyone stops believing. Sermons will occur automatically each day, providing your holy room is fully functional and accessible and you have enough influence. Looks like our first sermon is about to start. Let's see how the sermon goes. Will the music stop whilst the sermon's going on? Here they come! Our little goblins nearly said elves because they're still dressed like elves. The following is based on a true story. Oh. Ah. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Whoa. All hail, Gobbo de Goblin. Love, cute face, blush face, happy face, crying face. Whoa, it's over, get out. Sermon quality, two, influence cost, six, faith generated, 161, took my mood down a bit but gave me 10 energy. Theme rating, zero. Okay. Overall cult happiness. They loved it. Sermons are more effective if I'm in a good mood before they start. They take a lot of the Goblin King's energy though, so let's space them out. You can change the time a sermon occurs in the Holy Room sidebar. Manual sermons can be triggered. Are you giving your own little sermon? What are you doing here? If a scheduled sermon fails to start for any reason, select the cave, select the sermon tab. Hmm. Okay. Followers of the cash cows that we need to milk. They'll happily pay for all sorts of strange treatments in our therapy rooms. Build a foundation. I cannot wait to be set loose on this. Build a door. We'll have it be a cell. Sign space for meditation studio. Build one meditation stage. One meditation music and five mats. Okay, five mats. Let's have you face this way. One, two, three, four, and then head pupil. Music. People love meditation. Sometimes they say I'm meditating, but I'm actually asleep. These therapy rooms will make us a fortune. Gobbies will work the therapy rooms during their work routine. Followers will spend their time in the holy room and receiving treatments in the therapy rooms. Different therapy rooms produce different amounts of resources, such as money, faith, and influence. Followers will leave if there are no therapy rooms available or if they're bored of the current ones. Build as many different therapy rooms as you can to keep the money flowing. It's all for Gobbo to Goblin. We first need to convince people to become our followers before we can make money from them. Let's build a lobby. Interested people will go there and talk to the receptionist. Let's have a beautiful metal lobby to welcome people into with three doors. Green, green, green. 
Assign space for lobby. Build one lobby desk. I love that I can just click the C specific room objects. You know, that's so useful. A decor item. Let's see. Decor, decor, decor. Decor, decor, decor. Decor. Flowers. Say goblins love flowers, shall we? A decent receptionist. Very important. To try and make it someone who can string a sentence together. If the receptionist does a good job, the person will join us as a follower and start to visit the therapy rooms regularly. You know what people really love? Paving tiles. You're such a dummy. People follow paved paths if there's a route available. That's not ridiculously long. Otherwise, they walk on the grass. Then they might step on a bee. Nobody wants that. Let's build a path. Where's path and go? Floor. Okay. And I can choose what color it is. So we can have gr we can have like a yellow brick road or something, but we could have green paving. Wait, why isn't it? Placing it. Green. Oh, that's- oh, outdoors is a different one. Hang on. There you go. Ugh, ugly. <laughs> My bad. I met someone in a bar yesterday. They said they'd drop by to check us out. Wow, they uh, look totally different how I remember. I wonder if they're still interested. Let's see. Wait for person. Don't follow it. Was he a little, a little drunk, maybe? After the reception they go. Having a chat. They've become a follower. Just like how you should become a follower of this channel by hitting the subscribe button and the like button. Maybe, if you want. It's your life. I'm not your cult leader, but I can be if you want. That's our first follower. Pretty sure it was my bar chat that made the difference. And there she is in the therapy room, but not a fully fledged goblin yet. Not quite in the gear, you know, gotta keep coming back. I'm feeling a bit guilty about splashing so much money on those luxury toilet buckets. Let the copies earn $50 from our follower to show their gratitude. Wow. Yeah, you really splashed out on the buckets, sir. Uh. Horrendous. So let's see. Will more people show up? Look, our little goblin bus there. It would be great if you could upload your own picture, wouldn't it? Look, even I'm going in a bucket. It's fine. I love games where you build something like this. They're so addictive as well. You can lose so many hours to games like this just building. And they're so satisfying to start over from the beginning as well. Whenever you mess up or you're not quite happy with how something turns out. All right, 42 bucks. Are we just milking this uh, this one lady here? 48 of 50. Give us your money. Become a goblin. Okay. Excellent. They clearly love Gobbo de Goblin very much. We'll want to send more competent gobbies into town to carry out tasks. Others should probably never leave the compound, ever. It'd be great to have someone shouting about how great we are in town. People love that. Send someone now, please. Mission. Shouting outing. Nice. Level one. So here, we can assign a goblin. We can say... Does anyone have a special... Thing? What are their skills? Empathy. Bluffing. Butchery. What? Increase healing speed and cooking success. Espionage, intelligence, planning, retail, improvisation, social, public speaking. Ah, that would be the one, right? So, Amy. 
assign her to the mission. And then begin. PR rating increase. Oh, maybe it's the PR then. Which is the PR? Or is that for us as a cult, I think? Off they go. Success of a mission will depend on many factors like who you send and how hard it is. Let's see how they do. Review the mission once it's complete. Was that not me speeding it up to see? Doesn't seem to... There we go. Moving fast now. Bum, bum, bum. Mission complete. Your goblin returned. PR increase. Looks like they're good at shouting. Missions provide all sorts of rewards and benefits, such as unlocking new objects and providing more resources. Personnel will not return from missions until you view the result. We're going to make some serious money. We need to research funky new technologies. A research office. Okay. Have it be green again. Research desk and a super computer. Gobbies won't work unless we assign a research task. So let's see what kind of stuff we have to look forward to. A spirit chamber, an energy spa, recruitment office, maintenance room, PR missions, recreational room, leader's sanctum, mood boost. Goblin cap, follower cap. Influence cap. Kitchen. Pew. Comfy pew. Ah, so we can unlock more furniture as well. Step ladder. Maggot rejuvenation therapy. Gross. Discombobulation therapy. Burgers as food. Faith cap. Paint station. <gasps> we can paint ourselves green, right? Is that what that means? Increase cleaning speed in maintenance room. Oh. Does that not mean we can paint ourselves green? Like that guy was becoming blue. I want us to become green as a as a gang, you know. Monolith room. Ancient armor. Advanced alteration. Remove any trait type from the gobbies. Purge negativity in a sermon. Rapid alteration. Hospitality room. Spirit chamber. Kitchen freezer. What's all the way at the end here? A gold idol, a mega telescope. I wonder how you complete this. Right, start maintenance research. Bim. Bim. Gobby's using this room, wander the compound, repairing broken objects and clearing clutter. Excellent. This bar will increase when Gobby's are working in there. Once the research is complete, you need to assign a new task. Wait for maintenance from research to be completed and review it in the research menu. Alright. Well, come and join our goblin cult. You get a green hat and lots of buckets to poop in. That's about all we have at the moment, but we also have yoga classes that probably should have been higher in the advertising media than pooping in a bucket, but it's fine. That's probably why no one's here. Let me speed it up. Get us this research, you know? Can I rename people? That's an important question. <gasps> I c can I? I can! So if I wanted to, like, Amy Leaf could be, you know... YouTuber commenter. So whoever comments below this video is represented by that person. You know, you are now part of the cult. All right, research is done. Slow time down. And then I guess start a different one. Looks like this cheap furniture we bought isn't holding up. The object is already broken. The more an object is used, the more likely it is it'll break. Someone working in a maintenance room will patrol the base and look for broken items. Build a maintenance room. Okay. Here we go. Get a door. Assign the space. Build the items. 
that I needed. Observe maintenance worker. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's YouTube commenter that has come to do some maintenance. There you go. Doing a sweep. So we've got to wait for them to fix that thing, I suppose. It'll take a while for a goblin to find broken objects to speed them up, manually order them to fix something more urgently. Say, oi, you. Come here. Go fix that. Okay. The authorities don't take kindly to organizations like ours. We want to try and keep a low profile. Heat is a measure of negative attention that we are drawing to ourselves. Certain actions increase heat, such as people dying, gobbies leaving, and mission failures. People can die. If it gets too high, people may protest against us. The police might intervene. Heat will slowly drop over time. My friend from the bar looks pretty desperate. I reckon they'd join our ranks. Once followers have been with us for a while, the recruit button appears in their level tab. So we come here, level and stats. I've made worse choices, I suppose. Current job, egg hatcher. Joined on day one. Three ton pressure handshake. Stuffed with compost. Collects bubble wrap. You can banish people, nice. Recruitment. Deciding, whoa, whoa, what's gonna happen? Oh, they've joined. Spose, they said about joining a cult. Spose. Welcome to the party, pal. They'll definitely need their own bed, but that bedroom is looking a bit cramped. Expand the rooms as you recruit more gobbies. Gobbo the Goblin talks to me about a lot of different things. From raining down hellfire to summoning giant octopus creatures, their will really is open to interpretation. Once you build a leader's sanctum, we'll be able to choose which direction to go in. Whatever we do, we need money. Let's make sure we've got a regular flow of followers. Good luck, Goblin. Sometimes all you want is a toilet bucket, but all you can find is a maggot pool. Search filters are a great way of finding things quickly. Gobbies gain experience by performing tasks and going out on missions. By working hard, they can level up and improve their skills. Spend skill points to make your gobbies more proficient in specific areas. Finally, I look as pretty as I feel. Why is that? What does this mean? Your level's gone up? Let's see. Mm, excuse me, click. Wow, they have skill points. So you being here, I probably want, yeah, lobby, increase recruitment chance. So I want to give you social skills, Miss Natalie Cox, so that you can recruit people. YouTube commenter, do you have a level? Not yet. Our preacher has some levels and that would be public speaking. Just the general staff member, quality is poor. Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, oh my god. Showering. Nudity. Blurred. Let's make you social and improvisation? I don't know. I'm doing it for Gobbo de Goblin. Do I have levels? The Goblin King! Alright, next research. Energy spa, baby. fix this bedroom situation. So we'll build a foundation. Let me build it out the back here so they come up through there and then boom. Oh, got rid of the walls. Didn't mean to do that. Excuse me. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Just suddenly showering and then there's a big open room there. And then we drop this one. No, drop, demolish, delete wall. There we go. And then, can I move this somehow? Maybe I have to delete them. Move object, beautiful. Let's get the, ah, wait, I've got to assign the room first. So bedroom, this becomes a big bedroom. I like to take care of my cult members, okay. Beautiful, look at that. All right, move object. One in the corner. 
with a little space between you. And this is where you sleep. We're gonna fill it up with goblins. And you can have a little storage at the bottom of your bed. There you go. I think that looks pretty good. And we'll slowly fill that up with people. That's stuck in my head now. And also, let's sort this kitchen area out. Gonna need more, aren't we? Delete. Assign. Canteen, I think it was. Move these objects around. There you go. So we can have them grab the food here. Vending machine in that corner. Water in that corner as well. Room specific objects. Let's get another table in here ready to go. Dude, this is looking good. It's looking so much better already. Is there space for another there by the door? There is when we want to. $900 per table. Let's wait till there's more people, eh? like where this is going, though. Got some people working out. Mohammed Kazale. No moods, no traits. This week I'll mo- This week I'll mostly be floating. Is that a cabbage? It's an animal, but it's also a chocolate. It's like using the quote bot in my own live stream. Speed time up and let's see what happens. Oh, we should be doing some missions too. Oh, no available missions. No, we shouldn't. Look at all these people. I can kill you with my brains, says that guy as he goes past. Come on in, y'all. Come on in, y'all. Come join our cult. Where are they going? Join us. Time for a rebrand. That pumpkin head might have felt like the right fashion choice at the time, but we all know taste change. You have second thoughts about customization decisions. You can change them by going to cult overview. I can change my cult anytime I want. Goblin gang, top 20. Oh, that's cool. Just anytime you want to change things around. Nice. Divine inspirations unlocked. Repeatable missions succeeded. He flipped them over. Here ended the sermon. All glory to Gobbo to Goblin. To bed. To bed. We need another bed. She's like, it's fine. I'll just shower. I don't need to sleep anyway right now. No, you do. Come on, let's make you a bed. Got your own storage box and everything. Look at that. Don't say we don't do anything for you. She's like, oh, thank you. Thank you, my goblin king. Thank you. put more than one of these if I get two, like, builder dudes then. Two maintenance guys, right? Like another workbench would allow for another technician, maybe. Oh, maximum allowed in a single room. Guess not. Alright, got some levels. Natalie, let's go... Oh, I thought I leveled you up to... Oh, yeah, I did. Social. There you go. Oof, nearly maxing it out. Aaliyah Roscoe. It's your job. Just a staff member? Uh, increase recruitment chance in lobby. Bluffing. Healing speed. Empathy. Therapy rooms. Seems like...
like a good thing for our crew to have. High empathy. Sleep for a while, huh? Day two. 3 a.m. Should be a skip to next day if they're going to sleep like this. sleeping for you. Damn, look at my hair, dude. It's so long. Breakfast. Pancakes, obviously, is what'll be being served in here. Look at me, just showering and pooping with everyone else. A goblin king of the people. What are you thinking about? What's that mean? Mood going down. Horrific food, awful room, extremely bored, dirty hands, petty criminal. <laughs> Not very good, this person. You know it, pork pie. You're not allowed to lick a toad's back. So I wonder if I can make recreational rooms for them to chill in. Not yet, I don't think. Ah, research done. Okay. Energy spa. Beautiful. Recreational room, I guess. Let's do that one next. Used by gobbies to increase their fun. It's not always the best option to have all your gobbies working to the same schedule. It might be useful to make sure some take a different lunch break, so there's always someone to man the therapy rooms. You can fine-tune the schedules. That's cool. We'll get into that later on, I think. So let's build another room. I'm going to start... I'm going to put something here. And it's going to be... What was our new room? The energy spa. in there. Mm. An energy ball. Energy bed. Let's have two of those. Energy capacitor. I can't rotate that, so we'll have that here. Energy control. This room's expensive. 4,000 left. All right, put a door on here. Like that. And we should also probably do the floors a little bit, I think. Paving the way for the goblins to get there and go the way we want them to. Yes, goblins, do your king's bidding, goblins. It's a musical. Ugly green path tells you the way to go. <laughs> so ugly, dude. So what else is in here? We have... Oh, what's happened here? Slow time. Priorities tab is... Yep, speaks for itself. A goblin was injured by dirty hands whilst eating and has massively filled feet. Eight hours energy decreasing. One of your gobbies is injured. An injured gobby will struggle to perform their duties effectively as they suffer the effects of their injury. Some injuries are minor, heal over time. Others require medical attention, either at the hospital or on-site medical ward. A goblin has gotten ill after eating with dirty hands. You know, I'm starting to see now how using an old trough as a sink isn't the most hygienic choice. After going to the toilet, gobbies will struggle to clean their hands properly with a poor quality sink. Upgrade it. Alright, got the recreation room. Let us, um... Where is a higher quality sink then? Bedroom upgrade, bathroom upgrade, so... I have to do the mood boost, I suppose. Right. 
dominoes in the rec room. Okay, so this is now, look, they're in here doing stuff. Learning things, I suppose. Another type of therapy room. Come in here and get zapped for a bit. Get zonked out of your mind. Mm. Alright, a recreation room, I think. We would have... Um, have that here. Beautiful wooden door. Recreation. Any entertainment. So we have dominoes, a Rubik's Cube, a slot machine, or a record player. Let's have them come in here and listen to the record player. I love how they just sit there with it. That's adorable. And then we'll have a slot machine. Goblins love gambling as well, I can imagine. Final record player. And there I am, the first one in there listening to it, just like I do with my gaming soundtracks on vinyl. Of course. This guy's pretty close to joining, though. Look at that. So close. Will this be the class that pushes him over the edge? <gasps> Mohammed Kazale. More XP to become a goblin. Everyone else is getting close to. Join us, sir. I'm in, he says. He goes straight to the old. I bet I could get more pews in here, actually. I wonder if I put them there, if people can actually sit in those. <gasps> Oops. It always, yeah, they just go over the top of them. Great, because it always annoys me when I have to play something in such a way because the NPC doesn't know how to, like, maneuver it, you know? Ah, we need to make a bed for our friend here, don't we? The new boy. New boy! You there, you sleep in that corner, you hear me? Away from the rest of us until you earn your spot. That's right. I can actually assign you specifically to that bed. I feel like it's probably something I can do. I found it. Ah, oh, so here, like in RimWorld, you can tell people to only do a certain thing if you know they're really good at it. It's handy. <laughs> this is great. I've just joined cult. Now I'm showering. Showering and not caring. Hanging out. Pooping in bucket. This is the life. This is what I've waited for. This is what I've been in dreaming of. Divine inspiration. So I wash my hands, my poopy hands in trough and get sick. Alright, I think that's pretty good as a general overview of this one. This is Honey, I Started a Cult. I can't wait to see where this goes. It's obviously something which you have to be a little bit more patient with. I think that's about an hour that we played and got to this point through the tutorial and things are kind of up and running and we're just researching stuff and then building those as we go. I will probably do a much longer playthrough of this on my live stream soon and we'll see how far we can go with it as we're sort of chilling and hanging out and talking. That's at twitch.tv slash madmorph if you want to join me and see this game and many others. I'm live three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday usually. Playing all sorts of indie games and whatever's coming out and taking our interest. But otherwise, if you've enjoyed this, please do hit the like. Leave me a comment below this video. Let me know if you want to see more of this one. If you would like me to bring what we stream to YouTube. And have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.